Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell and welcome to live Q&A. Uh, this is uh, just September 24th, 2018. Lost track of time there. So welcome. I'll be taking your questions and we'll be talking about them here. Uh, this is a Let's see, I think we're four weeks away from Essen at this point, so that's kind of the main focus of everything right now, also getting games played. It's interesting, my pile of games that I talk about all the time has definitely been dropping over here. It's been moving to the other room, but it's been we've been getting so many like exciting, fantastic games that we've been playing. I played several fun, new, fantastic games over the weekend and played some pretty bad ones. In fact, I played one that I'm pretty close to giving a one to. That's how much I disliked it. Uh, so that's pretty much what's going on now. Uh, yes, and there's that stuff to talk about, but maybe we'll talk about that a little more next week. All right, so if you have um, any uh, questions, go ahead and talk. ask them in the comments, and I'll get started answering them. Let's get going. Yes, I'm not. I'm not uh, working at a casino. I just like wearing outfits like this, and I have not been able to wear them for quite a while. But I can now fit into my vests again, and uh, I'm down over the weekend. I'm now down 31 pounds, so that's an exciting thing. I'm hoping to be down. I don't know. We'll see. One one step at a time. Let's see where we get. Maybe by the end of the year, I get another. What's the end of the year? No, let's see. We got October, November, December. 20 more pounds might be pushing it, but 15 more maybe by the end of the year? That'd be exciting. We'll see. Then you won't see, even his vest won't be stretching on me. Uh, anyway, um, so how was Iceland? Iceland was amazing, like absolutely incredibly amazing. Had a great time there. The con was really, really well done. It was fantastic. I had a good time. It was like a basically just sit down and play games all day type con. So I always like those cons. But Iceland, the scenery and everything, it's one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Um, did my trip go well today for that future thing? I haven't gone there yet. <laughs> We're going there this afternoon after we have a very important phone call, which also has a future thing involved. We'll see. Are we going to make a top 10 anticipated games of Essen 2018? Yes, you'll be seeing that next week. Our top 10 anticipated games of Essen will be showing up. Sneak peeks on what the next top tens are coming. Well, I just told you the next top ten specifically. More importantly this week, top 100 of all time begins. Does Laura ever get jealous of all your travels while she's stuck home with the kids? Um, yes. But I've told her once they're a little older, I will be taking her on many of these trips with me. What's my favorite leader to play as in Champions of Midgard? Ooh, that was exciting because at, at this Iceland convention, we, it, the convention was called Midgard. And so at the very end, the very last game I played, I went, got with some guys, we played Champions of Midgard, and I said, whoever wins is the champion of Midgard. And I was dominating the whole game, and at the very end, lost by a point. Ah, but such great fun. Um, I don't, you know, I can't remember the names of all the guys. The one I played last time where uh, it gives me a berserker that I can use in the middle of a, a battle, I really like that one. So I'll, I'll probably pick that one. But I'll play with pretty much any of them. How do you think the Rise of Fenris campaign would be with two players? Okay, I'm not a big scythe fan of with two players anyway. I'd rather play with three, four, three or four, maybe five. Um, but... So take that as it is. I'm not sure I've ever played Scythe with two. Have you played Obsession yet? I did, and I reviewed it. It went up Friday, my review? Either way, my review went up last week. Is there a possibility that Dice Tower Cruise will continue to be held in January? I can't take any days off in December, and I was hoping to make it a yearly vacation. Well, I don't think it's going to be held in December again anyway, so I can't promise it will be in January, but... Who knows? We're still working on the future ones. Where do you rank Western Legends among the 2018 releases? Well, quite high. I gave it a 9. Uh, we'll be doing our top 10 of the year at the very end of the year, but Western Legends is certainly in the running for that. Uh, 
I'm trying to lose 40 pounds myself. Keeps up the date. I need inspiration. Yeah, I think it is helpful for me. Inspiri inspiration came from Mark Street, who lost like well over 100 pounds, is doing fantastic. And um, so for me, it's kind of like a game. Uh, there, there's so I know there's all these new fangled diets. Right now, the big fat is keto diet, right? Everyone's keto, 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 keto. There's always something new. I'm sure in five years, we'll hear about why the keto diet wasn't that great because that happens all the time. My diet is simple. Eat less food. I watch my calories over the course of the day. I stay under them, and now I'm also walking 10,000 steps a day. If you want to join Pacer, I have a group in Pacer where you can see how many steps. I. I've messed up two days in the past 50 of 10,000 steps. Both were in Iceland. One day I was just sitting at the convention table all day. The other day, when I was done with the convention, I was like, all right, I'm going to walk now and get my 10,000 steps in. And I walked and walked and walked. And I was like, oh, we're getting closer to midnight. I'm going to. And at midnight, I only had 9,660 steps. It's like, oh, oh, well. I mean, I finished. I walked another 1,500 steps. <laughs> I didn't get back to the, uh, where we were staying until like 1230. Um, but that is what it is. So it was kind of a 10,000 step day. And then the next day I walked 20,000. So, um, but, uh, so I, I make it a game, you know, like, okay, how far can you get? And, you know, and usually it's weekends. Like at some point in the weekend, I'll be like, all right, like ye yesterday I had some key lime pie, you know, cause I'm got some key lime pie. And so if I do that every once in a while, I look forward to those moments, but I also just eat what I want. I literally eat what I want. I just don't eat a lot of it, very little of it. And now being able to fit into a new shirt, being able to wear things, having people tell you that you look better, it keeps you going. And, and, and honestly, my energy is up so tremendously all the time now. And you just feel better. I'm just, I'm not even hungry. Like I'm not like dying to eat food all the time. I've gotten way past that. I just want to eat food because I like to eat food. I know it seems odd. I'm not eating because I'm hungry, but because I enjoy eating so much. So that's where I get kind of caught up, but eh, I'm doing okay. There will be a new pile of games after Essen. What happens to the games you have now that you don't get played before Essen? Yeah, we'll see. Some of them will still get played, but yeah, the Essen is going to knock the socks off what we have. But a lot of games that we're getting in now are Essen games. Like today, we just got Dice Settlers. That's an Essen game, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Have you tried rucking since you like walking? I have no idea what rucking is. I don't run um, because I like walking way better. Running hurts my knees, and I hate running. My wife and I, for a month, this was a couple years ago, we tried a uh, walk to 5K thing. You know, like each day you, you get closer and closer to running a 5K, so you would walk, and then the phone would be like, now run for a minute. And you'd be like, oh, and we'd run, and then it'd be like, now walk, now run. And every time it said run, I was like, man, I hate you so much. I want to throw my phone. I hate it. I just hate running. I hate it. I can't do an exercise that I hate. I like walking. I love it. I can walk for four hours straight. It's great. It doesn't bother me at all. So, um, yeah, that's why I don't run, and that's why I walk instead. Have you seen anything on Captains of the Gulf from Spielworks? I have not. What game do you see people playing a lot of as of late? Well, um, definitely seeing um, a lot of people are playing Scythe. Uh, a lot of people are playing Terraforming Mars. Those are games I'm seeing a lot of people play. Uh, a lot of people play Container in my game group. And Brass, the heavier gamers, those are the ones that they're, they're, they're enjoying playing. Um, and Hail Hydra maybe being played a bit, uh, things like that. That's what I've been seeing being played a lot. Hi, Tom. You mentioned Sonos last time. The Sonos One has AirPlay 2. Add one to your setup, and AirPlay works with all, including games or YouTube. Uh, I'll have to see how that works. I'm not sure. Will Dice Tower West have a flea market? Probably. We're working on things like that. I did the top 25 for the People's Choice this weekend. Was I still on time to count this week? Yes. In fact, you have till about you have about five hours. If you vote in the People's Choice top 100 of all time, you can still get them done. If you vote today, uh, then it will still be counted. 
What's the weirdest thing that you ate while in Iceland? I don't think we ate anything that was weird. I had goose. I don't think I've ever had goose before. Um, but I don't think that's because I was in Iceland. It just happened that's what we had at the restaurant. Um, I, someone took us out to eat, and so we had goose. It was very delicious. But um, And I never had goose before. But other than that, I don't think we had anything weird. I just ate just the different kinds of food that were there. A lot of fish and things like that. Will you be remaking top 10 scary games for Halloween? I don't think we'll be doing that this year. There's always that possibility, but I don't think so. Tom, my treasured Kickstarter roundup is leaving board game breakfast. What can we do? Well, I'm putting out the call. I'm looking for someone to take Suzanne's spot. Suzanne wanted to do apps. The Kickstarter work thing is a ton of work. I completely understand that. So she's done a fantastic job. So we're just looking for somebody else to cover that spot. That's all. You said you like comic books, but have you read any manga? Ah, I don't like manga at all. I've tried to read it somewhat, and I'm just not a fan of it. And I'm not saying it's bad or whatever. I mean, I'm, a lot of people like it. It's just not my style. Who do you think Z's or Sam's top 100 changed the most? I think mine has probably changed the most. I have 25 different games in last year. Um, other than that, I would guess Sam's changed more than Z's, but who knows? Uh, what kind of coverage will be there from Essen? I'm not sure if we're going to have any coverage from Essen. Well, maybe we'll do some blogs and try to get them posted while we're there. Who will be there from the Dice Tower? Myself, Eric, Mandy, Suzanne, uh, Sam and Z, and Kenny. Dave Luza, Anna. And a few other people whose names are slipping my mind. Any guesses what game you played wrong from the Tom is wrong was? No, I have no idea. If someone doesn't tell me what game it is, I don't know. What games or game mechanisms would you like to be revisited again? I'm assuming you're going to mean games because game mechanisms are always vi revisited. My pet peeve is Warcraft. The board game had some good ideas but bad execution. Like the original Warcraft? Yeah, I'm not convinced a real-time strategy game works as a board game. I mean, there's some games that come close, but I don't know if, if it does a, a great job at that. Will the cruise definitely stick with Royal Caribbean, or is there consideration for Carnival or others? Uh, we'll probably stick with Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean kind of fits in that definite quality, uh, that, that nice, but they also have the room for us to game in. Uh, Royal Caribbean, I mean, uh, uh, Carnival, you would have to like use one of their dining rooms and things like that. It's not that it's impossible to do, but it's just, and we already have the pre-existing relationships with Royal Caribbean. If you visit Belgium, what's the first thing you'd eat? I don't know. When will the playthrough of Tidal Blades go up? It will go up when the Kickstarter launches, I assume. Um, I'm not actually, that's out of my hands now. Derek is editing it, and we're working with James Hudson, and we'll go up, but I'll tell you this, I really enjoyed the game. Really had a great time playing Tidal Blades and looking forward. Uh, I, 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 I would recommend backing that one for sure. Mezzo also, the one that went up. Uh, Mezzo, the Kickstarter launches tomorrow, I believe. Really liked Mezzo. Mezzo is a uh, spiritual successor to Swords. It's not from the same designer or anything. To, to Blood Rage, or actually closer to... Uh, um, Yes, that series. <laughs> Why is my name escaping me? But yeah, I really, really liked it. John Claudus did a great job. Easily the best game of his I've ever played. Are you just looking at calories only, or is a type of food also being considered? No, mostly just calories. So if I want to eat a little bit of dessert, I will. Now, I know what food is healthier or not, so I'll eat more salad than not. I'll eat more greens, like when I go and get sides at a restaurant. I'll probably pick broccoli and green beans. Fortunately, I really like vegetables, so this isn't a hard thing for me. Uh, my, my, my biggest weakness is potatoes. I know that carbs give a lot. So I eat some of that, though. But I'm telling you, it just makes my life so much better. I don't have to worry about, is this food in the diet? Is this one not? I don't know. Any food works. I just don't eat a lot of it. Obviously, some things like candy and sweets and cakes, I have to eat a lot less of those. But that's okay. You guys played Mezzo recently. It felt that you had all played before. Well, we had played before that game to practice playing it so that we would be better at it when we played the game itself. Seemed extremely random. It didn't play random. 
Um, I enjoyed it a lot. If you want to, someone's asking how to send us a game, email us at tom at dicetower.com and we'll tell you how to do it. Did you record any non-board gaming videos on Iceland? If so, will you post them? Yeah, we did some uh, 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 blog stuff me and Z did there. I need to actually give my stuff to Z. He's going to be posting that. Do Kickstarter games typically arrive much later than stated in the campaign? I'm new to Kickstarter and the first game I backed is now two months late with vague updates concerning delivery. Yes, sorry, that's just the way it is. Um, a lot of, a, a lot of, a lot of, it just, you can set a date and then something goes wrong and then it's late. Uh, it could be anything. It's, it could be your fault, it could be someone else's fault. You know, it's just hard to get things delivered on time. I'm going to be arriving in Fort Lauderdale early in the day before the Dice Tower cruise. Do you have any recommendations for things to do or places to see while I wait? Uh, well, that night we're going to be gaming. Um, so if you're coming early for the cruise, we're having a big gaming event. I think it starts at like 4 o'clock or something. So that's something to do. I... I other than that, uh, Fort Lauderdale, maybe you want to go look at the beach there. Fort Lauderdale. I don't know a lot about Fort Lauderdale because I'm an hour south of Fort Lauderdale and I very rarely go there. Other than there's a cool stuff there that I've gone and gamed at. There's some nice restaurants there me and my wife have gone to. There's a big giant, one of the biggest malls in America, the Sawgrass Mills Mall is there. Um, but for the most part, I don't do a lot in Lauderdale. Am I doing a review of Renegade anytime soon? I'm not sure what game Renegade is. So I will look it up. Renegade is a game from Victory Point Games. I'm going to say we don't have it. Don't know. Rucking is pretty much walking at a set pace with some weight. Oh. Well, okay. Uh, so like with a backpack on or something. That's an interesting idea. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm, I'm, see, like what I do now is I, if every morning I wake up at 6 on a dot and I go out walking. I don't walk too far. I walk about 2,000 steps. Uh, it takes about half an hour and I walk with my wife. Uh, she gets up and goes with me, and we have some time to just be together. I would say we have some time to talk, but it's about 10 minutes before I'm even in the mood to say a word. <laughs> but eventually we talk and stuff, and that's a good way to start the day. I get home, and then we both go, poof. You know, we're ready to go. We wake up the kids. Let's get going. It's a good way to start. The rest of the day, I go and walk around the neighborhood uh, here at the studio. It's about 2,500 to 3,000 step walk. It takes me about 20 minutes or so. And I'll make phone calls or read a book or... You know, read things on the internet. I try not to waste any time, so I keep things going. And so that's how I get most of my steps in. I don't know that I want to add weight, especially when I walk during the day. Like, I walked out today dressed like this, which is fine, but with 90 degree weather, I don't know that I want to add weight. I'm already a little hot as it is. How much does having your own website cost? Well, it's all different, right? Uh, having your own website can be very, very minimal in cost, but if you have a lot of people coming to your website, it can cost more. I don't remember how much ours costs. Our own, we have like 20 domains that we control at this point in time. They cost about seven or eight dollars a year. Uh, we also pay for our own web hosting space and things like that. Have you played X's Event Horizon? No, Sam. Sam played it. I did not have a chance to play it with him. Have any of the other Dice Tower folks played Root? Eric has. I don't think Sam or Z have. Would going to Essen for just one day be enough to buy games and see the new releases? Yeah, you'd have to move pretty fast, but if you go to Essen one day, especially if you go Thursday or Friday, because Saturday is crazy crowded, but if you go there, through there, I mean, you might not get some of the releases. They sell out really fast, but I wouldn't worry as so much about that. There's going to be a gazillion different games there. Um, and, I, and I think you could walk through the whole thing. You wouldn't, you'd have to walk pretty fast, and you'd have to go pretty quickly and skip a lot of small booths maybe, but you'd be able to get a lot done in one day. 
Have I given Zulkin another try? Yeah. Um, it's uh, my look back video today, or on Wednesday, talks about that because five years ago I reviewed Zulkin. And I'm reviewing a sequel to Zulkin tomorrow. How long can our videos be for breakfast? Well, okay, before we jump into board game breakfast and all, if you're wanting to be involved with board game breakfast, you need to email me because there's a little process to people getting involved with breakfast. Did you eat Icelandic candy? Yeah, uh, oh, by the way, prosperity overseas. Uh, Icelandic candy, yeah, I, I mean, it was mostly just had these chocolate bars. I had this one called Corny, which was kind of like a granola bar. There's a lot of different kind of chocolate bars, so I kept trying them, which I kept walking more each day, like, I gotta work off these chocolate bars. Um, they had chocolate covered licorice there, which they were like, oh, some people like this, some people hate it. It was okay. I don't know that I would go out of my way to eat chocolate covered licorice, but I didn't dislike it either. It was fine. If the Dice Tower shut up and sit down, Rotto and Tantrum House got in a blood brawl in the streets of San Diego like an anchorman, who would come out on top and what's your weapon of choice? Well, first of all, Rotto and Tantrum House would not even be involved in the brawl. Rotto would not fight. And, and the Tantrum House is, uh, they're just too, too nice, right? We, um, so, so it's us versus shut up and sit down, right? Well, there's three of them and there's like 20 of us. We got it. Also, I would wait till they weren't looking and hit them. I'm not gonna go, I, I, I'm not a very good fighter. I'm not saying I would attack, shut up and sit down. We have not played Brother of the Coast for time stories yet. Why is green used more than purple or orange as player colors in games? Yeah, you're right, um, that's a secondary color. Green may be a secondary color, but the fact is, is that green is just the color people use. The red, blue, green, yellow motif uh, I'm, I work in a church in Awana. That's the colors they've been using there since the 1950s. And when you go pick four colors out, it's usually red, blue, green, yellow. I don't know why. Maybe because green is a color in nature that we see so much of. Who knows? As far as type of food, even if you're just counting, concerned with calories, fat is twice as many calories as carbohydrate or protein. So you'll probably eat low fat by mistake if counting calories. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. I just don't care. I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is working, and I'm not going to sit there and look at all the, I just look at the calories, and I'm okay. And I know that if I eat a piece of pie, that that has more in it than in other days, and then I just eat a bunch of carrots or something to offset it. It all works out in the long run, as long as I don't eat. I'm eating one plate of food per meal, and that makes all the difference. The Dice Tower, you put a Deluxe Orleans in the Dice Tower library. What about the nickel character tokens I made for you? Well, they are fantastic, those tokens, and I appreciate them. And we weighed them versus the Deluxe tokens, and it came out that we liked the Deluxe ones slightly better, so uh, one of the other people in the Dice Tower put the nickel tokens in their game. They're fantastic, and actually, if I had the same things for Altiplano, I would use those for that game. Um, but uh, we, we decided we would go with the, the wooden ones. I'm sorry, it was a really hard call, though. Companies are truthful about delivery dates as they are about player count and playing time. Yeah, but I feel that companies go into delivery dates with good expectations. I feel when it comes to player time that they are, sometimes they're kind of stretching it there. I played Season this week, and I feel that's been completely replaced by Terraforming Mars. I'm not, I like both games, and um, I have both games that are in the Dice Tower library but I don't know how they are even remotely comparable. I mean, other than I can say which one I like better, which I'm not going to say because my top 100 is coming up, and there's a chance that one or both are in it. Um, but the, I, I wouldn't compare them. They don't feel similar at all. Artwork is a huge part of my gaming experience, and I don't see a lot of games that take their artwork seriously. I find a lot of board games that look cartoony and lacking in seriousness. I guess. 
I, I don't mind the cartoony artwork. A lot of that cartoony artwork is done in a serious, cartoony way, I guess. And there's so many games that look so serious anyway. I, I don't want more serious artwork. I just want games that look good. I think a lot of games look good. There's a lot that don't look good, though, that's for sure. Tom, why do you and Sam like Viking games, but think that other games have too dark of themes? If you know what Vikings are at their core, they're sometimes more dark than the themes you dismiss. Sure, I guess humans at their core are also quite evil and wicked. I don't necessarily care about the stuff at their core. I'm talking about what's on the outset. This is something that's always mind-boggled me, and because I just saw a, a, just another comment on our Chaos and Ale World, and people said, Oh, Tom are fuddy daddy and Sam are fuddy daddy Christians because they don't like this, you know, this theme. It's too dark for them. That has nothing to do with it. It really doesn't. It's just that I personally find the idea of playing on a board of human skin kind of icky. That's not, that, that isn't because I'm a Christian. It's because I just personally find that a little gross. And if you can't understand that some people would find that gross, I find that odd. It's kind of like, for example, I play maybe a game and there might be a splatter, a little splatter of the blood on the board. That doesn't necessarily bother me, but I can definitely see how that would bother some people. And someone said, oh, I don't really like blood and that bothers me. I, I, I can see that. So what I can see in the game, if you're like, well, if you, you know, this, this guy's named, uh, you know, whatever. And if you go look in the history of that name, it's awful and beyond. Yeah, that's fine, that history and all that jazz. But what's in the game? Is it in the game? So, yes, the Vikings in real life, a lot of Vikings were very awful and wicked and cruel and terrible and stuff. But that's not actually in the game. These are fantasy, silly Vikings with horns in their head. Besides, every Viking in Iceland that they were selling, every single one, with maybe ex minor exceptions, I guess, they all had horns on them. Every single one. I thought that was interesting. Um... Is the whole Dice Tower crew healthy at the moment? I don't know. I'm feeling fine. Do you think a game for exactly three people has a chance for success? Not especially. It might, but you're really limiting your audience. There's been a few. Martin Wallace made a few. There's been a couple. But I've never seen a big one be a big hit. I've never seen a game be a big hit for any exact number of players except for two. And even two-player games are not often a big hit for that same reason. Well, again, someone's saying that Z should be reviewing Re Renegade. That's fine, but I don't. Again, I don't believe we have it. I haven't seen it. Are you planning on doing a review comparing the original Clank with expansions, the Clank in Space with the expansions? Probably not. Although I wouldn't be surprised if that shows up in our top 100 games list. What was my Pacer ID? All right, I can give that out actually. That's one of those, like, piece of information that I don't mind giving out. Uh, let's see. Where would my pacer ID be? Hmm. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Huh. Well, the group is called Dice Tower. Woohoo! I'm waiting for today, for now. Um, well, I'm not actually sure where to find the ID on the program. Sorry. But if you look for Dice Tower, that would probably works. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see here. What book am I reading right now? Nothing. I actually just finished up. I started reading... Um, uh, what did I start reading? 
I read, uh, blah, 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 blah. What's it called? The Lies of Locke Lamora. Then I read its sequel, Red Seas Under Red Skies. And I was like, all right. And then I went to look at the next book. And before I downloaded it, I noticed that the next book had been written six years later. And that the book after that hasn't been written yet. And I realized that this author has fallen into that George R. R. Martin trap where he writes books every six, seven, eight years. And I'm out now before I get too invested in the series. I want... I mean, if the, if the author's going to write quickly, that's fine. I'm probably going to go back and download the next uh, books to The Lost Fleet because I really enjoyed that one, but I haven't really decided yet. I've just been rereading some short story anthologies. I haven't decided. Have I had a chance to play X-Wing 2.0 yet? No, but I'm going to be playing it. Uh, we were talking. I almost played it Saturday, then I changed my mind and played something else. Uh, and your game's a Hail Hydra. Did the good side or bad guy win about evenly? Maybe. I, I, I haven't kept track of that. Think about attending Dice Tower Con 2019. Is it a good idea to book a room before I have tickets? I think so. Tickets are going on sale on the 16th, I believe, or the 17th. I probably should know that. Um, so make sure you get those because I wouldn't be surprised if they sell it quickly. But getting a room is not a bad idea. What do you think about the new model for Dice Masters? Three dice per campaign box and two dice for team packs. And some packs have a max five on them. I haven't seen that yet. But I don't like, I don't mind the two team packs because there's two dice and most team packs are four. So you just get two team packs. Um, but uh, the, the sets having three, I find that really weird. Because usually, for me, there's one or two dice that cost one, two, or three or something, some low-cost dice, and I want to use four of them. Well, I'm not buying another whole starter pack just to get one or two more dice. I just find that very weird. Green is the easiest color for humans to distinguish from other colors. It helps us while hunting. All right. What do you like about Terraforming Mars? It feels like a cube-pushing game to me, just very repetitive. Maybe, but I played it twice over the, the Midgard convention. I just enjoyed it so much, I wanted to teach it to other people. How do you know the table size per game? I don't know. That'd be an interesting thing to put on table. It's table size four. What's on my tie? Well, this tie is a... Um, Twilight Imperium tie from Twilight Imperium 3 has all the different triangles. Uh, when I was making ties, I, this is a customized tie that I had made personally, um, I, I looked for great pictures of game components that I thought would make a good tie, and this was one of them. It was pretty cool. Is there anything you hope PAX Unplugged does differently this year? I hope their library gets bigger. Their library was pretty low last year. Like when I went to get a game from it, there was not that many... I mean, they, there was points where like the, almost the whole thing was checked out. I'll definitely be bringing my own games this year just to make sure that I have some games to play. Um... Been asked to play test a game by a top designer. Should I ask for something for my time or just be grateful for the opportunity? I don't know. I don't really know what play testers get. Probably if it's your first time playing, you should be grateful for the opportunity because some of these guys are asking hundreds of people to play test their games. So I would imagine that if you're asking them to play test a game, if they're asking you, they're not going to be offering you hundreds of dollars or, you know, per player. Um, most people play test for free, so if you like ask for something, I, they, I wouldn't be surprised. They're like, oh, okay, we'll find someone else. I don't know. Any play testing I've ever seen has always been done for free, although sometimes people get their name in the credits, so that's nice. What's my favorite player count for most games? Four. 
And I think that's because four, it just makes it easy to sit around a table. If we're playing on a long table, like at the game store, you know, one, two, three, four. If we're playing at my table here, four. Four just fits around a table so nicely. I, yeah, five is okay, and three works okay, but four is the best one for me. Uh, I'm guessing all your kids are homeschooled. How do you guys go about it? Um, well, I, I, I'd be careful about giving advice. Everyone is different with homeschooling. We homeschool in our area. We work with the homeschool collectives of people, and everyone does it differently. My homeschooling is extremely structured. I have my kids basically act like they're going to school. They do things very, I mean, I do some things that, like, hey, on our, when a kid has a birthday, there's no school that day, right? But we also then go to school. We have school when, like, they, when there's a teacher work day or there's a day off, unless it's a big, you know, unless there's a ton of kids in the neighborhood, we usually have school all those days because I want to stay up abreast. But I'm very strict. I treat it like regular school. Um, but, uh, yeah, everything is different, so I'd be hesitant to give out any advice on that. Um, oh, what are your thoughts on the new BattleCon Kickstarter? Um, does it need to be that big? It's humongous. I like BattleCon a lot, but I don't know that I like it $370 a lot. That, that, to get everything with the buy, it looks great and beautiful, but holy cow, that's expensive. That is my thoughts. In college, what was your best pickup line? I never tried to pick up anybody. Um, I would ask, I would ask girls out on a date, but I would just say, hey, something's happening, blah, 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 would you like to go there with me, type thing. Of course, it wasn't that smooth, it was more about me stuttering it to get it out. I was never a pickup artist, I never used a pickup line in my life, I would just ask girls out on dates. And then they would say yes or no. And I never dated a girl more than once. They always said no on the second date, with the exception of my wife. And that was how I knew, not quite, I think I knew. After the first day, maybe. I didn't know that she was the one, but I knew I really liked her. Um, and then uh, then when I asked her on a second date, she said, my parents had this rule, they've talked to my father. Anyone who wants to go on a second date has to talk to my father. And I was like, bah, I don't even know you. <laughs> How am I going to talk to your father? But it wasn't that bad. Uh, and then we started dating, and I would say after date four, I knew that I didn't want to date anyone else. And after a month, I knew I loved her, and I knew I wanted to marry her. Well, it was four years before we got married. It was a long time dating, but uh, it was fantastic. And we are now at 19 and a half years of marriage. Our 20th anniversary is coming up in May. Very excited about that. I'm trying to think of something to do. Probably going to take some time off from the Dice Tower, guys. I'm going to ask your forgiveness in advance for that. Um, but she is fantastic. And, you know, someone asked me about homeschooling. My wife is the person who puts all that together. My wife keeps me sane. My wife is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And she does not get enough credit. If you meet me at a convention, don't tell me I do a good job, Dice Tower. Tell me my wife does a good job because that's really the truth of it. Do you see a new trend forming for asymmetrical games like Root and Vast? Maybe, but I like the trend. Do you have a favorite game with a time track mechanism like Thebes or Glenmore? There's not very many of those, actually. Around the World in 80 Days, I can't think of many others other than those three. What do you think of the new expansion for Clank and Space Apocalypse? Didn't I review that last week? Yes, I did. So my review should be up. Reed Malazan. Hmm, I don't know what that one is. Are we going to see the back patio again for top 10 list, or did the hurricane completely ruin it? I'd like to do that back patio again, but the problem that we have with that back patio is we had to move so much stuff out there to do it. To, to do the top 10 properly, recording-wise and everything, um, we'd have to move out the audio. We had to run chords and things like that. And now we have the lighting and everything set up in here. So I'm thinking about ways that I can use that back patio because I really like it out there. Um, we have a fourth camera coming in soon. One of our cameras got broken and we had to fix it for an incredibly expensive amount of money. Um, but when that camera comes in, maybe we'll use that one. A few weeks ago, Melody did an unboxing of Boof Bowl. Did you ever get a chance to play it? Nope, but it's on my list of games I want to play. 
I have not played Patriots and Redcoats with Sam, but he said it's really good. What do you think about the Captain Marvel trailer? Ah! Well, here's my thing with the Captain Marvel trailer is I have high confidence in Marvel that the movie will be amazing. So, period. Doesn't matter what I think of the trailer. I wasn't a big fan of Ant-Man and Doctor Strange from their trailers. I was like, meh. And then when I saw the movies, I loved them. So I feel the same way here. This trailer's okay. Looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm excited about the character of Captain Marvel, and I like the part where she punches an old lady in the face in the train. That was entertaining. Um, but it looks like the scrolls are involved. So I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic movie. Uh, just the trailer didn't excite me. But no worries on that. What was the worst job you ever had? I've had very few jobs that I hated. I didn't especially like... I've always had such an enthusiasm. Any job I've had, you'd have an enthusiasm for it. And there's been jobs that I did them for so long. I guess I wasn't a huge fan. I worked in a print shop for a while. I wasn't a huge fan of that. How does Mezzo compare to other games like Blood Rage, Kemet, Lords of Hellas? I think it's right up there with those. I really liked it. What was the mention of your game table? I recently acquired a 4x6 and find it to be almost too large. Yeah, maybe, but 4 across seems pretty wide. I don't remember what the dimension of this table are. People ask me all the time, you think I have it memorized, but I really like the size of this table. What is it that you don't like about Inish? I, I, it's not that I don't like Inish. I just didn't love it. I, I just found it very... It wasn't straightforward. And I guess I like the straightforward nature. And you need to know the cards really well and all. I only played it once. So that's the thing. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure it's a great game. I, I did not review it for that reason. Um, yeah, Sam's the Inish guy. So I'll let him answer that question more. I might come back to it at some point. When you play do you like it covered with felt cover, neoprene cover, tablecloth, or nothing at all? I prefer, oh, excuse me, I prefer felt over everything else, then neoprene, then tablecloth, then nothing. I'm not a big fan of nothing, but I really like felt. Do your parents and in-laws live far away? My father, my mother has passed away. My father lives in Nebraska, so that's pretty far from here. And my in-laws live in China, which is even farther. How sad. Um... But they are moving, as far as I know, in 19, I think they're moving, or 20, one of these years, they're moving like 20 miles from here. So I'm probably moving at that point. Um, I'm kidding, Laura, if you're watching. I'm joking. Uh, let's see here. Have you talked to your daughter since she went to college? <laughs> yes, of course I talk to my daughter. I call her often. I've been... Her game collection is going to be 200 games at the point she's going at college. She said that the, the, uh, she's known as the game queen. What is your pacer ID? To find it, click the three dots at the top right, and then click settings, and your ID is right there. Well, there is no settings. I clicked the three dots at the top, and now it has my coach, likes, followers, comments, groups. Is it in groups? No. Is it in comments? No. Is it in followers? Nope. Is it in likes? Nope. Is it in the cog? Nope. Click the three dots and then click data and settings. I don't see data and settings there. All right, well that was not as handy. It did not work. This is riveting uh, live playthrough. Okay, sorry. All right, anyhow. How do you get your kids to listen to you? 
That's a really long... Uh, you make them regret tremendously not listening to you. Uh, what do you think of the co-op hero realms? I haven't played it. Uh, have you played or do you play PC or console games? No, I'm playing through Xenoblade 2 right now on the uh, Switch, which at the rate I'm going through, I will be done with in 2020. Um, uh, and I play, I play some stuff on the iPad occasionally. Has a trend of technology and board games died out? I didn't know it was a trend, first of all, and I don't think so. I think you'll see it show up in, as different things go by. First time playing Kingsburg 2nd Edition, which modules do you recommend starting with? I recommend starting with the... Uh, um, now, nah, I'd play through the base game first and then, look, then read the modules and see what you think. Are there good escape rooms in the Miami area? I don't know. I actually have, well, I've not gone to any escape rooms in Miami. Escape rooms are really expensive, which is why I don't go to them. Best prank you've ever been part of. I think I've told that story before. Let me save that one for another day. Hmm. But it has involved the previous host of the Dice Tower. All right. Um, have I ever played any game competitively? I played Warhammer 40K, a couple tournaments of that, and that was enough of that. I, uh, I remember my, my first Warhammer 40K tournament, I got second place in the whole tournament, and I lost two of my three games, which I thought was confusing. But I won the sportsmanship. I had the highest sportsmanship award. And that was mostly because when someone would whoop up on me, I'd be like, good job, woo, yeah. I don't know, I just figured I would have a good time. Um, I took an Eldar army, and then I did win one game. I took an Eldar army, an Eldar ranger army, altruist. No, I don't think that's what they are, Aldurian. No, that they got blew up in the uh, Death Star. Owl, owl, owl tar? I don't remember what they're called. But anyway, some little ranger army. It was fun. I didn't win any painting awards. I won one out of, maybe I won two games out of three. I don't remember. But I definitely played against a guy who cheesed like a mad dog. His army was ridiculous, and I was so annoyed. But I kept saying, interesting, because that's how you get good sportsmanship. I don't know. Uh, I, the whole thing was kind of like, meh. How many episodes did you win in Rise of Fenris? Uh, out of the eight, I won three, I think. Two or three. Are you from Nebraska? No, 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 no. My, parent, my, dad, my parents just moved there. Uh, my dad's in a little town called Alliance, Nebraska. Is Raiders from the North Sea different enough from Champions and Midgard? They're very, very different games. What are my in-laws doing in China? They're working uh, at a uh, school that teaches English there. The sportsmanships are now five points for everyone who is not cheating or being a jerk. Okay, sure. How high off the ground would a set of monkey bars have to be before you said those are too high for me? Basically, you're saying what? how far before fear of heights gets me? I don't know. It, for me, it kind of waffles. Like I, I, could, I, I climbed up in Iceland. I went up a small mountain there and climbed it up. No one else wanted to climb, but I was in the mood to climb. So I climbed up to the top. I stood there at the top, and I wasn't like, whoa. At the same time, I wasn't standing on the edge going, how far can I go over either? So, Civ 6 is coming to Switch. Will you rebuy it? I don't know. There's a lot of typing. I always change all the names of my cities. I don't know how easy that would be to do on a Switch. Found the Pacer ID. All right. <laughs> Go to the Me section at the bottom. All right. And then press the cog in the top right. Ah, there we go. A as an apple. 57553639. Here, I'll type it in the comments too. A57553639. There. All right. 
So if you want to connect on Pacer, you can. It's, it's, a, it's not a big thing. I don't, I, I don't look at Pacer and go, hmm, Christopher has only walked 565 steps today, even though I just did that. But, I mean, he might walk more later. It doesn't really matter. But it is a fun way of ranking, I guess. You can be like, ooh, I'm in the top four today. Or like right now I'm number one. However, I'm on the East Coast, and these West Coasters always walk farther than me at some point. Uh, what's Chief Sokoto up to these days? Oh, it's a very busy time of year for him. This is the pre-Christmas uh, tribulations that happen on Mushaf. Uh It doesn't happen every year, but this year the lunar cycle, well, one of their, they have like six lunar cycles because of all the different moons, but one of them is happening, and so there's always this, there's, uh, so what's happened is, and this is the shortened version of it, uh, there was some some bugs, there was like multiple different bugs. Uh, well, I'm calling them bugs, but they're, they're like, I guess they'd be closer to amphibians, but they're, they look like bugs. Anyway, so a couple of them evolved and they all just evolved into different things. They evolved really quickly though. Like it, it was like a 10 year evolution type thing. And then they're all fighting. Um, and uh, the one of them, one of them became the dominant one on, on, the, on, the, pl on the planet. Uh, the humans who landed there found us out to their chagrin. Um, and now every year, one of them tries to become the new dominant one, and Chief Sotoko has to go in there because what we've been doing, uh, I don't know if I'm breaking protocol saying this, but I mean, anyway, essentially we, we, we want things to be kept kind of at a, a stalemate on that planet because if ever there comes a time where one of them is so powerful that they completely control the planet, then they might decide to move the other planets, and we really don't need that to be happening. So he goes in there and helps keep the, the different races on that planet in synchronization with each other. It's ironic you're scared of heights seeing how tall you are. Well, no, no, I don't think I'm scared of heights. I'm, 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 I'm cautious with heights, I guess. I'm not afraid of heights because I've done things like um, I'm not really in the mood to do bungee jumping or jump out of an airplane. But I could be talked into it, I think. It would take a lot of talking. I, I, that's kind of where I'm at. I guess I have a healthy concern for them, but I'm not like afraid of heights. Like if I'm in a building at the top of a really, really high building, I'll look off it. It doesn't bother me. If I know I can't fall, it doesn't bother me at all. If I think I might, like I'm sitting at a table like, oh, I might fall, that would bother me more than being at the top of the Empire State's building and I know I'm not going to fall off there. Have you ever been to Japan? Briefly, uh, I had to change my visa when I lived in Korea. Would you ever consider a trip over there? I would consider a trip over anywhere, really. Um, it just it has to work out. You ever get into Pokemon Go? Sure, when it first came out, I played it a lot. I haven't played it much lately. I turned it on and went around and caught some Pokemon a few months ago. Um, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal for me. What's the worst travel experience you had? I don't know. I mean, sometimes planes and stuff can be a real pain in the neck. But I just, there's always something to do. So it's never too horrible. Do you like Korean food? I do. Uh... How different is Clank from Dominion? They're very different. Are they both worth having? I have both. Or does Clank kill Dominion? They're very different games. Jumping out of a plane? No. No, I'm not going to fund me to go skydiving. No. Have you played Treasure Island? No, we have not. I have it, and we plan on playing it this week if possible, but I haven't played it yet. Hey, I'm caught up on questions. Yay. Is there fewer people on today than normal? Yeah, there is. Okay. Do you think Keyforge is a place to stay or will it fizzle along? No, I don't know. I mean, it's going to sell really well. You watch. It's going to sell like gangbusters when it first comes out. Does it have long legs? That I don't know about. We'll have to find out and see as time goes by. Was there a reprint of Ave Caesar since you guys played? And have you seen the Brazilian one? I've not seen the Brazilian one. That sounds cool. What are your thoughts on the future of rule and rights? I'm sure we're going to see a whole pile for the next two years. And we'll always see more of these. It's definitely the hot thing right now. What is a rondelle? Uh, well, it's one word, rondelle, 
Um, a rondelle is basically, you have a big uh, circle or some circular, it doesn't have to be a circle, like the game I'm reviewing tomorrow, TL2 Huacan, uh, it's a big square, and you're moving your pieces around it, and usually you can move your pieces a certain number of spaces, sometimes one, two, or three spaces, sometimes two spaces, sometimes you can pay points or money to move farther, and then whatever space you land on, you do the action of that space. That's what a rondelle is. What is your favorite game that gets better with every play? I don't know if there's a game that gets better. I mean, I, there's games that just, I love them every time I play them. Can you do a riffle shuffle? I can do the riffle. Um, considering legacy games, if you notice some common mistakes many legacy games make that should be avoided in the future, there's not that enough out there to notice common mistakes. I will say that uh, one mistake that some legacy games do, they have to keep that sense of excitement up. It needs to be interesting and exciting. You can't be like, now you get to you have an extra point this game. That's not exciting. And so you need to keep that sense of discovery going, I think. What's your favorite reptile? I'm not a huge fan of reptiles. Dinosaurs. What do you think of the Treasure Island book? It's good. I read it many times. When I was a kid, I read it. And, and as a kid, I was kind of surprised when I read the unabridged version. Because when you're, you read those, does anyone remember those books that you read where there was like a picture on every page and then you would read the, the page and there was a picture on every page? I think that's how I first read Treasure Island. Or I might have seen one of the movies as a kid. I'm not sure. But when I read the unabridged version, I'm like, this is, what's this whole first couple chapters about? What's even going on here? There's a lot going on in those books. And it's really weird that the book, the whole book, it paints the picture of Long John Silver. It's a very interesting one, I think. Um, but, I don't know. I like it okay. Newbie, your bio on the website caused me to check out the Dice Tower. You still involved in the ministry? Well, I'm still involved in my local church. Um, I'm currently at the church that I'm at. I'm the chairman of the deacons. I run a lot of the sections of Awana, the kids program. And I was on a music ministry team, although uh, with uh, our pastor has just moved on to another church. And so our church is looking for a new pastor. So I will be doing a lot of preaching and a lot of stuff that the church needs over the next few things. So I won't be doing the music as much. If you ever want to, I think online, if you go to our website, you can like see. So if you want to see what it's like to see me preach in church, um, you can go to our website. I'll be preaching this coming Sunday and the one after that. Have you ever tried metal detecting? No. It, it sounds like an interesting uh, uh, sport or whatever it is. I don't know that I want to do the digging part. I just would want to run the metal detector. Beast of War are now concerned that mass battle miniature games are going out of style and skirmish battles are more in trend. Well, that's probably the truth of it. I don't know if that's something that concerns me. I don't really care. <laughs> I would like to see some mass, like, small things. Like, I always thought Epic 40K was a really interesting idea. I would like to see more of that. But a board game style, that would probably work fine for me. Uh... What's your favorite choose your own adventure book? Oh man, I don't remember it. It was one that had something to do with time travel. That might be that one. Do you play like the board game Go? No and no. Uh, this year has slowed down as far as big game releases go. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Um, like if there's a week without a big release, does that slow it down? No, Essen is coming. There's going to be a gazillion that come out next month. So, yeah, no. There's uh, so many games being released, I can't even come close to keeping up. And then after Essen, we'll see a few more being released all the way up to Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can already make a top 10 for the year. I noticed because I've tried a top 10 for the year already. And that's without Essen games. With Essen games, I'll easily be able to make a top 30, 40, 50 for sure. All right. Well, that is that. Thanks so much for watching today, folks. Well, there's a whole bunch of questions that were asked at the very end. I'll have to get to those next time. I appreciate you guys watching, as always, of course. Until next time, I'm Tom Basil, and you've been watching Live Q&A on the Dice Tower.
everybody here? Well, there's like three of us. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, the Animal Weight Watching Committee is called to order. Hi. Let's call members present. Pookie. Oh, yeah. Pookalicious. Yeah, I'm here. And we have a new member. Ah, uh, why is there only two people here? Uh, well, we have a problem because the Weight Watchers Committee is not working so well because dragons have entered our land and then if you're fat, you get eaten. We're the only two left. Everyone else was eaten. You know I'm a dragon, right? Yeah. That was kind of offensive. Well, it's true. We'd actually be more afraid of you, but we don't think you can catch us. So why are you letting me in Weight Watchers? If I'm in Weight Watchers, I'll lose weight, and then I'll come and eat you guys. He has a point. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think of that. Well, here's a fact. You're also small. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could beat the snot out of you. Hey, guys. Ah, oh, come on. Are you even a dragon? Who was your parents? Uh, my father was a dragon, and my mother... Oh, I don't talk about that. I heard you guys have a weight thing. Why do you want to join a Weight Watchers program? Because I have a lot of weight problems, and if I lose weight, I'll be able to capture and eat more uh, mammals. I feel like we're kind of defeating the purpose of this one. Mmm, delicious. Uh, why are you here? I want to join Weight Watchers. You're not even close to fat, Pegasus. Don't even talk to us. No, I could I could stand to lose a couple pounds. Are you kidding me? If I if I had the strength, I'd come over and swipe your head off for such nonsense. Don't call yourself fat when there's people over here who are really trying to lose weight. <sighs> well, I exercise every day. Yeah, we know. Not all of us can fly, Pegasus. Not all of us have wings. Have you ever been eaten before? I swear, I'm out. <laughs> all right. Well, hello. Oh, come on now. There's too many dragons here. I'm only half dragon. My father was a polar bear. My mother was a dragon. Oh, yeah, I knew his dad. We always told him not to hang out with dragons. I will eat you. Dude, we're not really afraid of the dragons around here. Hello. Oh, are you kidding me? You're not a dragon? No, but you can come in. Although, do we have rules about dinosaurs? And is this meeting even about Weight Watchers? I, I came because I heard you guys play video games afterwards. <sighs> All right. Um, we're going to make a special committee on the Weight Watchers where there's a few people, and we're going to talk together over here. All right. We're here to get you out. What do you mean, get me out? Well, this is not a place for dragons. What are you guys talking about? Shut up. Um... Listen, dragons should not be hanging out with non-dragons. It's uncouth. Well, you guys are here, and you're a half-dragon anyway. You say that again, and I'll rip your throat off. Sorry. I'm, I'm pretty sensitive about the whole thing. Look, you're fat. Okay, thanks. No, you really are fat. But I'm a... Okay, we've decided. All right, what do you do if you decide it? Ah! 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 All right, lock the door. It's locked. Uh, what's going on? Ah, oh, the dinosaur's still here. Hmm. Well. How'd you get back in? We just locked the door. Well, you have an open ceiling. Oh, yeah. All right, listen. We'll let one dinosaur stay. You're not a dragon, right? Can I come out of my room yet? You're embarrassing to us. Yeah, buffaloes are supposed to be big. Look how small you are. <laughs> All right. Dragon police are here. We've heard some. there's some negative anti-dragon speech going on. Um, I can't even listen to you when you have a T-Rex with you. T-Rex is obviously not a dragon. Oh, I'm really a dragon. Oh, I just look like a dinosaur. That is the dumbest thing I've heard today. I agree. That's really stupid. I feel like you're mocking him for his short arms. I'm not mocking him for his short arms. Not everyone has arms that reach all the way down to the ground, you know. Are you are you a long armist? He is a long armist. I heard him. He's opposed to people who have arms that are too long. <laughs> Can I gore him, father? No, stop asking to gore people. I thought we took you to school so you'd have a class against that. Uh, all right. All right. This is what we're going to do. 
Can I be involved? No! No one like me, because you have wings. Dragons have wings. Oh. <laughs> Most dragons have wings. Most dragons have wings at work. This is getting awkward. It's super awkward. No one wants you, Pegasus. Get out. <laughs> ah! I can fly! You know what else I can do when I'm in the air? If you do that, I will murderize you. Why? What are you going to do? Open up! I'm not opening up! Ah! Did you see what he just did in my mouth?